Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am gonna do a full face of first impressions. It's gonna be a get ready with me using some of the products that I recently hauled from my last haul video. If you haven't checked it out, I will leave it in the i cards here and you guys can go on over and check that out. But I'm really excited about the things that I picked up and I'm gonna try to use as much of them as possible. So if you're interested in seeing the look that I come up with, stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so let's jump into these products. As you can see, my brows are already done. I use the MAC um, Shape and Shade Brow Tint in the color Spike and then I just use some concealer to shape them up and that's that. Now, um, I, I did pick up the Marc Jacobs Undercover Perfecting Coconut Eye Primer. I didn't haul it because I forgot. So this is what it looks like. It's the first time I'm using it, so let's see how this works. The eyeshadows that I'm going to use for this look is going to be from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to use her Eyes to Mesmerize in Star Gold and her eyeshadow palette in the Queen of Glow. If you guys saw my last haul, you guys would know that I picked that up. So I am going to go in with the um, with a small blending brush into the matte shade and deepen up the, and start in the outer V with that. Now I'm gonna go in with a bigger blending brush. This is the Sonia G Blender Pro and just blend out the edges on that color. So we have that color blended out. Now I'm going to go into the Eyes to Mesmerize shadow in Star Gold and I'm just gonna use my finger and place that all over the lid. Now I'm gonna go into the Sonia G Soft Shader and I am gonna place this color here on the lid. Now I'm gonna go back into the Matte Deep Shade and just kind of blend the edges together a bit. Now I'm just gonna take the bigger blending brush here and just lightly go over the edges there. I'm gonna go into this color here and put that in the inner corner there. And then I'm gonna go into this shade here which is kinda like a topper shade and I'm just gonna dab that in the center. See if that brings any light to the center of the lid there. Yeah, it does. Do you guys see that? Now that shade has some fallout. So I'm going to line my eyes with the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner, and then I'm going to apply these Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. And I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll come back and we'll continue with um, the makeup look. Okay, so now let's move into the rest of the face makeup. I am going to prime my face using the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Instant Retouch Primer. This is new, this is the Glowgasm Beauty Wand by Charlotte Tilbury, it's a highlighter and it has this type of applicator so I guess you just squeeze it until it comes out. Oh, there it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight a bit under the foundation. Whoa. So I'm gonna put this on just to highlight my cheekbones and bring it up just like that to give my complexion a glow. And for the foundation, 
I am going to try this Becca Skin Love Foundation and I'm hoping the color matches. It's in maple. And I am going to use the BK Beauty brush in 101, which I'm so excited to use. It's so soft. So this is the Becca Foundation. And let's go on in with a full pump first. I'm gonna use this brush. So the color match is spot on. Like, it just matches perfectly. And that was one pump. Okay, so I looked up the Becca foundation and it's supposed to be a natural finish with a medium coverage. So it's definitely a medium coverage. I feel like it's more of a matte finish to me. So I'm gonna see how this foundation builds up, but the color match is perfect. So this is two pumps of the foundation. It builds up nicely. And I think it covers well. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin, but it does feel a bit matte on my skin. So I have normal skin, so that feels a bit matte. So it's probably good for the um, summertime. Now I'm just gonna go in with my Pat McGrath concealers. I have two colors, I have M20 and M17. So I'm gonna go in with my usual cocktail where I put M20 first because it has more of a orangey um, undertone, a peachy orange undertone, and then I will go in with M17 to highlight. Just a bit there. And I'm gonna go in with a beauty sponge. I'm just gonna go around the concealer with my foundation brush just to blend everything in nicely. I recently picked up the Laura Mercier Translucent um, Honey Setting Powder. It's a new shade and I am so excited to give this a try. So let me just make sure I don't have any creases under here. And I picked up this Sephora Buffing slanted buffing detail brush and I'm just gonna use that because it fits nicely under the eye to um, apply the setting powder. Ooh, I like this color. So I am going to go in with this big fluffy brush. Should I go in with that one or this one? Maybe this one. This is the BK Beauty 102 and I'm going to go into this Charlotte Tilbury um, uh, Airbrush Flawless Finish Perfecting Powder in Tan 3. That's what it looks like. And I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. Now I'm gonna go back and add some dimension to my face using my Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in deep four. I haven't used this in a while and it's pretty dark. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna go in with the BK Beauty 104 brush um, and see how that works. So I'm just gonna dab a little bit off there. So this bronzer in deep four, you really gotta, if you're around my complexion, you really have to use a light hand because it, it's pretty red in tone and it can get dark real quick. But 
This brush works really well with it. Okay, so the next product that I'm excited to try is this blush by Patrick Ta. This is the Double Take Cream to Powder Blush and this is in She's That Girl. It's the pink shade. And that's what it looks like. Gorgeous. Now, I have the BK Beauty 103. I think that's a little too big. So I'm gonna use my MAC 118. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into the powder side first because Patrick Ta explains that you can use the powder first and then top it with the cream, where most people use the cream first and then set it with the powder, but I wanna try this method. So I was afraid that it wouldn't show up on my skin tone, but I don't think it's picking up on camera, but it's showing up really well. It's definitely a lighter shade, which is what I wanted. Can you guys see that? Now I'm gonna go into the cream. I'm just gonna flip the brush on the other side and pick that up. Oh, with the cream, it looks a lot better. I think you guys, I think it's picking up on camera. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I think I went a little heavy because I really want the color to show up. Now, I wanna go back into the Charlotte Tilbury um, Glowgasm Beauty Wand and just highlight the tops of the cheek. But I think I'm just gonna put some on my finger. So this is the Glowgasm on top of foundation and powder. God, guys, I got so carried away with the other products that I forgot to do under my eyes. So I'm just gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna do under my eyes quickly. Um, I'm just gonna line it with a black liner and then use the darkest shade in the Charlotte Tilbury palette, which is this matte shade and just buff out the lower lash line. So that's the eyes completed. I did try out this Fenty mascara for the first time. I'm not sure if I like the wand on this. It's kind of awkward. So it's like flat like that and then you turn it on the side to kind of pull your lashes through. But yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of awkward to use. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. I am going to set my face with the Fenty What It Do, Baby What It Do um, setting spray. Now for the lips, I am going to put on my Gucci lipstick and this one is in Love Before Breakfast and I'm just gonna line my lips with the Mac Plum Lip Liner. So this is the look so far. So I'm just gonna fix my hair and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tell you my first impressions and how I feel about some of these products. Okay guys, so this is the final look. What do you guys think? I am loving this makeup look. It is 
All right, let's get into these products. So the foundation, I love the color match of this foundation. Now, it's a little on the dry side, um, so this is definitely gonna be a summer foundation for me, not a winter foundation, because I get a lot drier in the winter months, but it matches so nicely. And it feels light on the skin. Um, I'm not sure if it's blurring. It says it's a blurring foundation, but I don't know. I don't know, my skin looks good, so it must be doing what it's supposed to do, so yeah. I like that. Now for these brushes, I really enjoyed using them. I really like this foundation brush. I feel like this is gonna be a staple foundation brush. I love this for all over powder and I really like this for the bronzer. And for this blush, I kept the box just in case it wasn't gonna work for my skin tone, but I hope you guys can pick it up on camera cause this blush and the Charlotte Tilbury um, Glowgasm Light One, these is giving this. It's giving all of this glow, y'all. I'm excited. Is it? Is it? Is it bad that I'm feeling myself? Like I'm feeling myself. Like, and let, let, let's let's not even talk about this lip. Like I feel just bougie just having a Gucci lipstick, but like. This lipstick, if you've seen my haul video, these lipsticks just make me feel like a bad bitch. Like, let's just, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I love when I buy new makeup and it gives me this confidence and this vibe and this like, I can take on the world. That's what I love about makeup. Now, I'm not saying you need makeup to make you feel confident and whatever, but when you have a good makeup product and you put it together and you just feel like mm, like you're you're the ish is all I'm saying and this makeup makes me feel that way my eye makeup today using the um, Charlotte Tilbury Queen of Glow and the where is it eyes to mesmerize together my eyes look so seductive like Hello, who is she? She meaning her meaning me. Like I'm ready to pull a Tamar on y'all. That's how fly I'm feeling right now with all this makeup on my face. Like, come on. Now. I've already did a couple pictures for the gram. I'm not even gonna play. <laughs> I've already I've already taken a couple pictures for the gram. This is how like I'm excited. I really enjoyed the products that I used in this video and I have a makeup problem and this is why because makeup just transforms me makeup just gives me that confidence that boost with everything going on in the world to just get dressed up and not go nowhere <laughs> let's be honest I ain't going nowhere but it just makes me feel better and I'm sorry not sorry I'm happy. So let me know what you think of the video. Let me know if you guys have any of these products. Don't forget to rate my video. Thumbs it up. Don't give me the thumbs down. If you are if you don't like the video, just, just click out. Don't bother giving me the thumbs down. Thumbs up the video and subscribe to my channel for more makeup looks and for more tutorial and for more hauls because your girl has a problem. <laughs> <laughs> but I am so glad that you guys spent some time with me today and um, I hope everyone's doing well and until next time bye guys